coronavirus in Connecticut. Numbers continue to trend in the right direction, and that's certainly not the case in most other states right now. Since Friday, the number of positive cases here in our state has gone up by 259. Three more people have died. Hospitalizations have dropped by 26, and nearly 25,000 additional tests have been performed. Meanwhile, phase three is officially on pause. This means bars will remain closed and gatherings will be limited to 25 people inside, 100 outside. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is joining us now live. And Matthew, why exactly is this happening? Well, Aaron, you know, that is a question so many have. They point to how well the state continues to do in fighting the coronavirus, and they're not wrong. We continue to be one of the leaders in the country, but the governor points to the major flare-ups we're seeing elsewhere and that's why he's hitting the pause button. Uh, look, I like a beer at the bar as much as the next person. I know how frustrating this can be, but right now uh, with this pandemic flaring up uh, in a majority of other states, this is not the time to take a risk. And with that, phase three in Connecticut, which was supposed to start on July 20th, is officially paused. This means bars will remain closed and capacities at entertainment venues, restaurants and gyms will be limited to 50%. We're just erring on the side of caution, as we've said before. We see what's going on in other states, and uh, I think it's really important that we uh, maintain that. Here are the latest numbers. In a three-day aggregate, Connecticut saw 259 positive coronavirus cases for more than 24,000 tests. So when Governor Lamont calls out other states, this is what he's pointing to. Arizona had 10 times that number of cases test positive in one day. Florida had 30 or 40 times that number test positive over the course of one day. He says governors in some of those states admittedly regret opening up too soon, and he's taking today's cues from them. As Governor Greg Abbott said, um, you know, I regret having opened the bars at all because they are so conducive uh, to uh, the infection. So the governor says he's taking a wait and see approach before reopening bars, which really puts owners in a very tough spot. Now, the other things on pause are the capacity increases in various sectors. But the governor did say there's a possibility those restrictions will be lifted earlier. Live above the newsroom, Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.